Do you not think that would have an impact on American politics if we could prove that it could be done? And so there's a lot at stake, I believe. And I, and I appreciate your comments and sentiments. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mark, uh, for coming to talk to us in this kind of weather. Uh, well, thank you for coming out in this weather. I've heard me speak, and I wouldn't come out in this kind of weather. <laughs> I tell you that right now. Uh, my question is uh, about your thoughts on uh, assault rifles. Well, by the definition of the people who have no clue what an assault rifle is or an assault weapon, I have some. Um, see, I think the Second Amendment is not restricted to somebody's idea. The Second Amendment is not about hunting, it's about freedom. And I don't believe that there are uh, really constitutional authorities where the government can restrict that. I had a discussion with a group of, from the editorial board, I was in Washington, I won't tell you which news organization, but one of the people in particular was talking to me about uh, the Second Amendment and said, well, I have an unabashed view of it and believe that it's uh, just like the First Amendment. It's as sacred as any of the others. And I said, the problem is when a lot of politicians are asked about the Second Amendment, they start talking about hunting. And I said, you know, I'm a hunter. I hunt deer, duck, turkey, hunt an antelope, and a few other things. I said, it's not about hunting. The Second Amendment is about our freedom. It's about protecting ourselves, our families, our properties from anybody that would, would threaten those things. Even protecting ourselves from our own government, for that matter. That was our founding father's view. That sounds pretty radical today, but that's what it was. Because they understood that the last line of freedom we ultimately have in this country uh, is ourselves. And so, this particular discussion we were having, and uh, one of the people in the room said, well, I just don't think anybody needs a semi-automatic weapon or anything, uh, you know, like, like hunting. I said, well, you just kill my duck season because semi-automatic doesn't mean anything other than you pull the, you know, squeeze the trigger and you continue to get around. So you shoot a Benelli shotgun for duck hunting, um, that's a semi-automatic weapon. And yes, you do need one. Where I duck hunt, you definitely need one. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it was just clearly that a lot of people don't even understand those issues. So, uh, you know, I'm just, again, very clear and adamant that the way that we protect the First Amendment is making sure we also have the second. Are you also fully, uh, are you also supportive of fully automatic weapons? Well, fully automatic weapons haven't been uh, available. I mean, since 1934, you have to have a federal license. I've got friends who have a license and have fully automatic weapons. And uh, so, you know, if a person goes through the law. I don't personally have a problem with people owning them because I, I know people who do. But they're responsible, law-abiding citizens. And the whole point is, if, if you're a law-abiding citizen, a law-abiding citizen, I don't think there ought to be those restrictions. So, yes. 